Well, dozens of federal public service workers are back on the picket lines for day two here in Lethbridge for what is being called the biggest strike in Canadian history. Outside of the Service Canada building, employees with the Public Service Alliance of Canada continue to fight for a fair deal Thursday. We've had great turnout, great participation, great energy from the members. You know, it's... We're actually having a good time making the best of a bad situation. More than 155,000 workers across the country have been on strike since Wednesday after contract talks fell short and a deal was not met by the April 18th deadline. The uh, employees that work for Canada Revenue Agency were in collective bargaining for two years and the employer never put a wage offer on the table. The strike, although happening in the middle of tax season, specialists with H&R Block Canada anticipate the only impacts would be the calculations of benefits and credits in the future. For example, GST or um, the incentive, climate incentive, or even uh, old age pensions. But that's yet to be determined. As of right now, it's business as usual. Workers who are on strike make up about 17.6% of the Canada Border Service Agency employees. In a statement, the agency says they do not provide direct frontline operational services like processing travelers and commercial goods. Services to travelers and businesses will be maintained. Back at the strike, the union would also like to see proper work-life balance, job security and remote work be negotiated. Well, the group isn't sure how long they will be on strike for, but they hope their employer will be able to come to the bargaining table with a proper collective agreement. For Bridge City News, I'm Angela Stewart.